Hey guys, in the last video I showed you how to make this simple car with suspension, and in this video I'll show you how to make it drive and turn. So the code is pretty simple, but before I get started, I just want to mention that in the wheel pub, you should go to the cylinder and change the rotation, because in last video I made it 90-0-0, change it to 0-0-90, and it'll work here with code. Also, I'll say that I'll have a GitHub link in the description, so if you want to just copy this code here, um, you can do that. I have this cube to show that it's in front of the car, and then I have this simple car with car script. Now if I open Open it up I'll just go through what it all does um, so most of this stuff is the same um, the main differences is I have a float for rpm and I have some flows for max traction and traction and uh, I, I changed a few things in the awake I, I just changed this but now I'll get into the update so this is the main part that changed down here we check if I is 0 or I is 1 which means if it's front right or front left wheels then we make it turn so the way we make it turn is uh, we get its Euler angles and we set it to a new vector e where we only change the y, the, the z and stay the same, um, but the y is the current Euler angles dot y plus input dot get axis raw horizontal times 45. So if you press a and d, it shifts it left and right 45 degrees. So uh, if it's not the front two wheels, we just set it to the transform dot rotation. Now RPM goes up or down depending on if you press w or s. So if you press w, um, get axis raw vertical returns a 1, so it goes up, and we multiply this by time dot delta time to make frame rate independent. We also also make the RPM go down if you are not holding W. So it doesn't just coast forever. It does eventually slow down slowly. And now uh, we have our raycast hit here from the last video. If we're on the ground, then um, we set the wheel fab position to the hit point plus an offset. And uh, we get its child and we rotate it by RPM speed. So um, the, the wheels fab here, we rotate the cylinder. We get the child and we rotate the cylinder around the Y axis or around one of the axis, yeah, around the y axis in local space. The suspension force is transform dot up times math amp, um, max suspension length minus dot distance, and that's clamped between zero and three, and we multiply it by the suspension multiplier. Now, the traction force this is where the fun stuff begins. Um, clamp the magnitude uh, to max traction so it doesn't go over that, um, but it's, it's actually pretty simple. It's just our traction variable multiplied by um, this whole thing. So, this whole thing first, I do the x axis so. I multiply by transform dot right to make it um, go to the right and left, and it gets in uh, ne the negative of infer inverse transform direction of the rb dot velocity dot x. Um, so if if you're sliding to the left, it adds a force to push you to the right, so you stop sliding. And we do the same thing with transform dot forwards with negative inverse transform direction with rb velocity dot z. But we also multiply it by rpm times math pi, which is how fast like uh, the wheels are spinning, and this calculates how much distance that. Should should cover. And if it's the front two wheels again, the traction force uh, offset 45 degrees times input dot get axis raw. So if you turn left and right, offsets it by that degree, by 45 degrees here. So if you change the amount that you turn here, also make sure to change this number to be the same, or you can just create a variable. But yeah, it just offsets it. And then we add the force, we add the traction force and the suspension force applied by time dot delta time um, at the hit dot point. So at the wheel location, we add these forces. Else we just set position equal to transform dot position with the offset and yeah i just have these on draw gizmos to make it uh visual so you can see the wheel spinning and stuff these are not important but yeah um if this helped you make sure to leave a like and subscribe it really means a lot to me and i'll have daily or weekly videos soon since i'm on summer break so thank you for watching i hope this helped you and let me know in the comments what you would like to see next and i'll make a video on it so thank you have a great day